Hi, I'm Harold Nichols, Assistant Chief of Simpsonville Fire Department. Simpsonville is located in the upstate of South Carolina. We cover roughly 32 square miles out of six stations, all career personnel. This is our new Pierce Enforcer Pumper. We have extended front bumper with a hose line in the front. Inside the cab, have all vinyl interior for ease of cleaning. All the switches overhead, great visibility out of the enforcer cab. We opted for the TAC 4 front suspension because of the benefits of the increased turning radius in all of our residential areas and small streets. In the crew cab area, again, all vinyl interior for ease of clean. Have two forward facing seats, two rearward facing seats. We've added this compartment in the back of the cab just to use all the usable space that we could. We have a 12 volt power point and 110 receptacle in there to keep our battery chargers for any batteries that need charging. Uh, this truck has a 1500 gallon minute water pump, 750 gallon tank. We use a pump boss pressure governor. Have two cross lays here and a storage for backboards up top. Uh, in the dunnage area we also have a 10KW Harrison hydraulic generator that powers our uh, cord and uh, light tower on top. Has a command light light tower. First compartment is the engineer's compartment. All of our appliances, nozzles, uh, equipment that the engineer will use will go in this first compartment. Uh, the controller for the light tower is also in there. This rear compartment. <clears throat> We have a slide out tool board with pegboard. All of our hand tools will mount to. Two shelves on this back side of the divider, positive pressure fan, a hotel pack, and some other equipment goes in here. On the rear of the truck, our hose bed layout is situated where we can have a 200 foot pre connected two and a half, 600 foot of three inch, 1200 foot of five inch. 400 foot of three inch for a blitz nozzle. All our steps going up are back lit for safety issues. Three pike poles and the attic ladder goes in this smaller compartment. Our ladders are mounted to the exterior of the truck so we have the low compartments on this side. These compartments are configured where we don't need any shelving or anything in them. opposite side of this pump panel. We stick with the brushed aluminum or brushed stainless because it doesn't scratch and show uh, things that happen as time goes on. This other rear compartment will have a marriage set and a six foot hook in this compartment for the uh, officer side of the truck. We do have backlighted back grab handles. Same thing in the in the back side of here, all the vinyl seating. We've added some features that we do particularly for safety reasons in the officer seat. So the officer can control all the emergency lights, can control all the scene lights. Uh, we have a speedometer mounted on the officer side, a thermometer. So the officer can control also control the air horn, mechanical siren, and the electronic siren. And we have a park brake mounted here in case the driver was to have a medical emergency or something happened, the officer can also stop the truck. We're very excited to get our truck back to Simpsonville and get it put into service. We're very thankful to our mayor, city council, city administrator for working with us, helping us to, to keep the nicest equipment that we can to, to take care of our citizens. Very thankful for Spartan Fire Apparatus for helping us to design the truck that works the best for us in our area. Uh, we're thankful for the Pier to Pierce for the great experience that we've had here and for helping take care of all of our needs.